Okay, it's looking pretty messy. The wind is still pretty strong. However, fortunately, no big trees look like they have fallen on Sherman Street. So that's been very important. Well, looks like my neighbor over here has a little bit. Hello, Amy. Hello. <laughs> Putting out the garbage during the hurricane. <laughs> we have a huge tree in, the, in my backyard, three houses down, that's fallen and taken all the wires down. So they're all bowed down, several of the poles are broken. Pretty crazy. We have power though. <laughs> okay, see ya. Okay, here's my backyard shed and the stuff that's being used for the deck. And here, unfortunately, my neighbor down the block has a giant tree. Let's see, electrical telephone. This is broken. Here is actually the top part of that telephone pole and it snapped. It snapped because the big tree down here fell over and into the house. Wow. It's raining pretty hard, so I'm not going to get the camera all wet. That wind destroyed that tree. The big, huge tree used to be up there. It's just falling over. Okay, now that, that we have seen plenty of newscasts showing us what's going on, looking at my house, everything seems to be intact, including the big tree. So we're going to go down along the park side where I understand some trees have fallen, and big ones. You can see all the debris on the block. And all the neighbors are coming out to take a look. It's actually nice and calm. It's like the eye of the storm is passing over. Uh oh, there actually was a casualty on our block. Wow. Look at that. My maple fell. What? That is that your house? It's, a, it's on my house. Oh, man. I thought that was Mary's house. That's your house, Mike. Mike, I got a video of it while it was still raining. I can't believe it. It's taking all the wires down and everything. Oh boy. Okay, so here we go. The first big huge casualty. Destroyed the fence. Wow. Oof. Holy mackerel. Okay. Boy, that is a massive amount of wood. Okay, I'll make my way down to Claire's and pick her up and go to the park side. Okay, so here is a medium sized branch that has come down. Actually, down in the road where Marty Markowitz lives, the Brooklyn Borough President, his uh, car ride this morning with Lou Ionello from Channel 2 that revealed the fact that there's some big trees across the 
Prospect Park Southwest over here. And we have one of the key neighbors cleaning up for the storm. <laughs> Are the kids up? Okay, we're going to go over to the park side, my dear. So, so, so you've already taken a look? Taking it away. That's oh, I wanted to see that because that's across the road. Yeah. There's a tree across the road. Right, this is the one that I wanted to There's see the before they got it completely clear okay. because it's across the road. Yeah. Yeah, you know what we'll do? We'll come back for this one. Yeah, they're not taking this one first, we're taking that one. So, is there any flooding in your house? No. Good. Claire, look, look how much they have already chopped. This is unbelievable. It's fast. Yeah, unbelievable. I was hoping to get here before they had the... Uh... Oh, look. Oh. Oh, you know, Claire, I'm running out of tape. Look at all of this. That was a huge um, piece of tree that was laying right across the road. It was blocking both sides of the road. It went all the way across to the other side. These guys already got to it to chop it down. Unbelievable. Oh, is that the opening over there? Yeah, the end of it. You can come right down the water. Oh, yeah, that's an idea. Oh, look, they have... Oh, wow, they're using the, the thing like a broom. <laughs> is that unbelievable? They're using that big piece of wood like a broom, just pushing everything over to the side. Let's see where it came from. There we go. The rest of the tree. Quite a bit of it has been destroyed. Wow. Oh, and there's more down here. Wow. Okay, so these guys are pretty much done. Okay, so we're going to move up. This is Prospect Park Southwest between Sealy and Bay Hill. Yes, Mark. <laughs> we're going to so try not to park off. Stationary guy was here at 6 a.m. With the, with, with the trees lying across the road. Okay, Claire, so there's one tree. Let's make our way up this way, see how many we get along the road. Let's go, okay, we'll go up and then we'll come back down. Okay, you could go in right here if you want. Yeah, but I don't know if I got all of this properly. Okay. Oh, look in the plate. See they if there's just, any damage. They just redid it. Okay, fortunately for the kids, the playground has escaped unharmed. However, we cannot say the same is true for this tree. Yep, agreed. Uh, 
now. Already cut up by these guys. They are quick. Okay. This is it. This guy's car totally lucked out. I think, anyway. This guy's car may have already been damaged. Okay, Claire, let's work our way up. Oh, look at that tree up there, Claire. Look, all the branches are just snapped. So it's come down here, it's probably destroyed the fence. And, and it's just, we see the top of the tree. Look at that. Three, it's like three of them. One, two, three, all just snapped. Wait, four. One right Wow, oh yeah, look at that. See the inside of yeah, it's all right. Okay, here we go. Someone's getting the pleasure of lugging some of this stuff away from the building. Oh yeah, look at this, Claire. You see that edge just snapped off. This thing here snapped off from there. Did you see the tree hugger sign on his bumper? <laughs> tree hugger. The tree hugger has um, lucked out. Is that well? Actually, maybe he hasn't lucked out. Okay. Hey Mike. Hey Mike. How you doing, buddy? This isn't your car, is it? No. Well, I'm not sure they're all that lucky. I'm pretty sure that that uh, tree has done some damage to the metal. But well, consider it. But given that it could have been a little bit further over, they would have a totally destroyed car. I mean, look at that branch, man. That thing just snapped. And this big old tree came falling down. I think it's fine. Underneath all this, yeah? The other side. yeah I don't think there goes the tree hugger. <laughs> He's got his wish. Okay, so wait a minute. Wait a minute. God hugs. <laughs> Clever idea. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll put it on the Windsor Terrace blog. <laughs> the Windsor Terrace blog. <laughs> it was pretty severe, wasn't it? It was, but I feel like we worse. Oh yeah, well, actually, this this is one of. The Okay, here we are, everybody's out, checking out the uh, situation. These guys are down the road, trying to clear some more trees. Yeah, I think so. Okay, well, it's, it's, it's still operating. Buddy, can you lend a hand? <laughs> oh, it says to walk now. Right. Okay. It's working, but it's... <laughs> That's funny. Southwest. Oh, no. Nah. <laughs> oh, nah. There you go. Okay. Okay, here we go. Come on, Claire. Okay, do you, if you walk in anchor in. Like, I don't have a... Oh, really? No. Yeah, yeah, it's that's what... the window's down. I'm like, if there's a big gust of wind and that falls on something... Oh, we got to step through here, Claire. Take a picture of this. Okay, on the corner of 11. Here's a big problem. This thing just fell over. Gonna have created trouble for the road. However, as you turn and look down 11th Avenue, you can see another tree right across the road. 
Okay. 16th Street. Wow. Whoa. Let me tell you see how close it is. Oh boy. Well. Okay. The gold tree is done. Hey, this, I don't know who lucked out here, but all these people have totally lucked out. And again, it's people like this guy. The Jeep is right up against this thing. Oh, they lucked out because there was a fire hydrant here. That's why. Well. Well. That's just a branch off of that tree. the big tree.
Okay, 16th Street is getting back to normal. I'm with Tom Fay on 11th Avenue as he's surveying the damage. As you can see, he can't get past the road behind him. Oh boy. Not good. I tell you, they, they're, they're lucky that tree was next to a fire hydrant. Yes. Because somebody's car would have been destroyed. Okay. We're all just chit chatting over here as they survey the damage. Okay, 11th Avenue between 16th and Windsor. Looking pretty bad. Okay, you'd like to meet one of the luckiest yeah. men on 11th Avenue, oh, Sal? Yeah. Hey Sal, where's your car? Over here. This, this is your car? Yeah. Okay, well, Safe and sound. thank goodness the tree <laughs> fell that way, not your way. That's true. <laughs> so I'm the luckiest man on 11th Avenue. Probably, yeah. How are you? How are you doing? No, there's right. nothing on Let, the ground. Yeah, but look how many, look how many leaves there are. Yeah. That's it's the like, problem. So Sal, you live right here. This was a tree in front of your house. Yep. yep. So good thing it didn't fall into your house oh, yeah. or on your car. But I gotta fix the cement. But now so you gotta, gotta fix, fix the cement. Right? Oh, no. he's gotta fix the cement. That's really, that's really. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay. Really, Let's yeah. inspect the hole. It's that's it. The roots are really not deep wow. at all. The sidewalk was holding the tree in. Yeah, it was the tree was one there, that's it, that's it. See, nothing on the bottom. Wow. Okay. It's really, how do they figure out if a tree is dead or alive, you know? And yeah, but Claire, look at how many leaves there are. You, could, you, you can't I think know. that that one's dead. It's, I know. Is there know, any way like to do some be... sort of ultrasound <laughs> or MRI to see how deep down okay, do there the we roots go? go? Your, your medical background is getting the best right? of you right now. <laughs> yeah, they could probably do it. It's probably Come on. It just Wait, cost $1,000. In, in the Times yesterday, they had a report of, of them going to Italy, to Florence, to see if, uh, if a Leonardo da Vinci mural was behind another picture. Uh, and they right. shot it with photons. They used a physicist. A physicist <laughs> came and shot it with photons. And the back, what came back? They could make an image of, and it's back there. Nice. So can they do nice. that to the tree roots? Nice, probably. But it costs thousands probably. and thousands exactly. of dollars. <laughs> <laughs> They'll go around. In this neighborhood, they have the money. <laughs> we got to secure our, our video here and make sure that we include Amy. And, and who is this youngster? This is Lily. Lily. Hi, Lily. Our first hurricane. Our first hurricane? Say hi. Wow. <laughs> Excellent. Learn all sorts of new See. Well, I tell you, it was pretty windy. Oh, you yeah. could, it felt like there was a truck driving down the block all night. And behind me in my backyard, uh, about four houses down, somebody's big tree fell over and hit the lines and oh. broke one of the poles, and right. everything's draping down. Gracious. It's unbelievable. It's kind of Look how cute. Oh. Is she adorable or what? Oh, thank you. Hi, Lily. You like the rain? Do you like the rain? Thunder. Oh oh. Ooh, well, I see wind. you're ready with your with your what are those? with your crops. I have my boots on. Uh, there you go. Lily, 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 I love the butterfly. Oh. The butterfly looks terrific. Is yes. The butterfly. Looks good. <laughs> what do you think? What do you think, Nora? What do you you're think? On the movies. You're we're, in the movies. we're going on the movies. Tell me what's happening here. What's going on? What, why is this thing like this? Be a reporter. Gus, be the reporter from Sherman Street. Okay, here we go. Gus Mahler. Okay, Gus reporting Reporting from Sherman Street. Reporting live from Sherman Street. Okay. Gus, will you put that tree back together for us, please? Nora, can you tell Michael what's happening on Sherman Street, like a reporter? There is a tree that fell down. Oh, boy. Now, what did... It fell down into one window. Did it just get tired? 
or did something make it fall down? What was that something? Um, a windmill. A windmill? Yeah. Okay, what about, was there some sort of like lady by the name of Irene? Yes. What was, hurricane maybe? Okay. No, no, the tree blew it down. Yeah, the tree got blown down, right? Yeah, this doesn't look good. Nobody was hurt, they said, now they're in the house, they're making pancakes. So. There we go. Okay, thank you guys for reporting from Sherman Street. <laughs> Oh man, he's do oh look at this guy. He's personally going to lift the tree and put it back up. Vincent, do you want one like that? Not quite. Yeah, Here comes Claire getting ready to dump the branches into the collection. Here we are, the men. You guys are doing a fast job of stuff. I tell you, on the Prospect Park Southwest. We've got a lot of anxious people waiting for us. I bet. I bet. Man, look at this thing. Another tree. Look at this, destroyed the sidewalk. Unfortunately, that ends up becoming the person's responsibility who owns the house to clean up and fix the sidewalk. Unbelievable. Oh, look at this. Four awning got destroyed by the branches that have obviously already been gobbled up by this machine. Something like the awning would cost at least a thousand dollars to replace. Just something simple like that. So this is now 10th Avenue, right at the top of Sherman Street. Beautiful new sidewalk has been destroyed. Nice old tree is down.
piece at a time.
surprised that thing. Thank you, sir. Thank you, young lady. Uh, thank you. See, but okay. when you work here in the area, the people will probably work and we don't see it. Uh, you don't see it. Right, right. Now today you're off, so now you see it. Okay, Liz, you're a trooper. <laughs> Liz, you're a trooper. Real trooper. That's the way to fit you in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Carry Mike. On. Carry on. Thanks again, Mike. Okay, these guys, Mike is waiting for his replacement truck to show up so that he can uh, start feeding the brand Yeah, 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 I noticed that. Okay, interviewing some key women from Windsor Terrace. <laughs> Adding them to my video. No, that's true, that's true. That was just the Now the people with the awning are taking a look at the damage. Fair to say that's a couple thousand dollars or maybe a thousand dollars worth of replacement damage. Now what are these guys doing? Looks like they're going up to Oh, they're going up to take down some of the branches higher up that are cracked. Okay, Claire. Okay, I'm gonna leave you. I'm gonna go with you too. Okay, guys, take over from here. <laughs> okay, I've seen, just seen one of my neighbors emerge from their backyard with a tree branch. <laughs> the mulcher is up front and up on 10th Avenue. Okay, so coming up. This is Nolan. This should be right here. We're back to 35 Sherman. Let's see what's happening back there. There's my car, Claire. Underneath that tree. That's a young tree. And that tree. That's a young tree. So that looks good, Michael. Survived. It survived. Thank goodness. It was the only spot left. Yeah. So I took my chances. Yeah. I wouldn't the tree right there. in front it's of like, my house look, has... A hole in the yeah, that's birds. That's birds are in there. Yeah, I would... So, so you know, I so but fortunately it's got a skinny set of leaves up there, so it's got less weight to crack the tree. Yeah, okay, so here we go. I'm gonna go in here, see what's going on. You wanna go? I'm gonna go up here. So here we are. What I was trying to look at earlier today, but I could barely do it. Unbelievable! Mike, be careful. Okay. Oh, look at this tree. I'll, I'll show you here in a minute, Claire. Don't worry, I'm not going to push you. <laughs> okay, so you know what, my Diana, I think... What? Well, look at the sun. Uh, yeah. I think this is Mike's house. Oh, it went this... Oh my gosh, look at this big tree in this yard. 
Oh my gosh, with the power! Right, right. The, it's hold, got all the power lines down. And so now they come up and it snapped the pole over here, Claire. Yeah. If you look, this pole is actually snapped oh, gonna off of the top. They have to come and make sure they're coming. They're gonna have to come in and redo a bunch of stuff here. Hey honey. Okay. You finished?